Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix your largest content field paint or LCP on your WordPress and also increase the website speed. So LCP is basically how quickly the main content of a web page is loaded. So we're going to fix it. Uh, for example, this um, image may be too big or too large to load quickly. I'm now here on Elementor. Um, you may be using a different uh, option, but here on Elementor, um, you want to go ahead and click responsive mode right there at the bottom. And after that, click on mobile view. Now, after that, uh, we need to optimize, for example, this image, which loads um, slow. And to uh, check your speed, you want to go ahead to the page speed insights, enter your website and al analyze it just like so. Uh, and basically, for example, this image loads slow. So you want to click on this image and click on these three uh, six dots like a menu. After that, you also want to go ahead and uh, open up the navigator right there at the bottom. And you will see that this container is uh, everything in here. Now uh, you want to go ahead and click on style. Uh, and now, as you can see, the image resolution is full. So what you want to click on is medium. So it would be smaller and basically like so you would increase the website LCP. Now you want to go ahead and click on advanced and go ahead and check if there are any motion effects uh, as you can see there are no effects so that's great uh, because any motion effect will decrease your uh, website speed and load so you just want to go ahead and turn them off now we need to go ahead and duplicate this section uh, because we will use one um, for desktop and another one for mobile version. So let's now go ahead and duplicate it. So you can do it right there, duplicate, or you can go ahead on this container and also duplicate it. Now, as you can see, we have two. And now we're going to go ahead and choose one option for mobile view and one for desktop view so let's go ahead now to the advanced settings uh, choose responsive and for example this one will be only for mobile so we can go ahead and hide it on desktop and tablet and on mobile we can go ahead and another one we need to also change it um, to be only on a desktop and tablet so this one will not show up on mobile now you need to choose the one which will be visible on mobile devices and you want to go ahead on style and delete this image um, from here now again uh, we need to go ahead and delete this one uh, right there so here it is on mobile and now we go, go to desktop and again we need to delete it here let's go back now we don't have an image anymore now again uh, we are here on mobile view we want to click on these um, nine dots like a menu bar and you want to go ahead and drag the image on top of here And you want the image to be on the heading. So I'm just going to do this. Now you want to go ahead and select the image. So choose an image from a media library. Or so we can choose the one we want to use. So for example, let's select this one. And now, as you can see, this image is not proper, properly aligned. So what you want to do is click on this um, section and go ahead to the advanced settings. And we need to resolve this padding on the left and right. And now, as you can see, 
it's so it's um, image is aligned let's also do a smaller padding at the top because we don't need that just like so now uh, we want to go ahead and move this heading um, on the, the image so to do this you need to go ahead and click on this heading then click advanced and the margin right there you want to go ahead and unlink them and now you want to go ahead and do this basically just scroll it to the top and put it wherever you want so for example we can leave it right there now we can actually do the same with uh, this icon for example and uh, unlink the values and basically just make it to the top and the same with this one we can actually just go ahead and of course this is a longer text so maybe we have to make it smaller and now once we're done with that and we fix it you can go ahead and again check the speed of your um, website and see if it improved now uh, we want to go ahead and update it and the, the other thing we want to do is go ahead and install catch plugin which just makes things lighter so just go to your wordpress and from here you want to go ahead and search for catch and if you all don't already have it just install it i for example use this one so we can go ahead and go to this plugin we have i have already installed it is basically um catches everything and here it is now you go on settings and we can go ahead and for example enable page catch it, it catches the pages and will reduce the response time of your site so you want to go ahead and enable it and there's also an option called minify which is um, basically it is to reduce the file size and it improves the load times of web pages so you also can enable this and it will basically uh, drastically improve your site speed so that's it for today's video i hope this helped you in in any way to improve your website speed if this video was helpful please leave a like subscribe to this channel leave a comment down below and i will see you next time bye